Hey everyone, welcome to Aftershoot. In today's video, we're going over advanced workflows for culling. It's helpful to master a lot of the basic skills like keyboard shortcuts, etc., before getting into this. And it also is helpful to have reviewed a bunch of culls within Aftershoot so you have a good idea of what the problem areas are with your specific photography style. And I'm gonna go ahead and try and reduce the number quite simply using some filters. Filters are a great tool available to you in order to really reflect how you photograph your images. So to get started, the first thing I'm gonna do is go to my warnings. Now in this set of images, Aftershoot is saying there's something off with them. We aren't quite sure what they are. You may wanna review these more in depth, but we gave you a representation of them. So what I'm gonna do is actually select all of them and reject them right away. All 32 photos, I don't want. So we've already dropped from 150 to 125 photos with just the click of a button. And so now I'm gonna leave my warned images and head on over to my selected again. And the next thing I'm gonna do is use these advanced filters available to me to really whittle down the amount of images I have based on my photography style. So the first thing I'm gonna do this session was all about these two sports students. So I have a soccer player and a baseball player. And with that, there is gonna be zero photos in which I want no faces. So I'm actually gonna filter by without faces. This does work in other types of sessions as well. Um, so, you know, if I'm photographing a wedding, I will actually do this same workflow. Um, but again, I do expect to have some detail shots and stuff at a wedding. So I do want images without uh, key faces, but I'm gonna show you how I correct that here as well. Um, so obviously a lot of these photos, it's flash and fire, it's faces obscured, it's, it's awkward angles. Uh, I want faces in all of these photos. So again, I'm gonna select all these photos and I'm gonna simply hit the X key and reject them all. Now you're probably saying, hey, what if you wanted one of those? Don't worry, we're getting there, it's coming back. I'm just getting my numbers down right off the bat. So now I'm gonna go ahead and clear those filters again and I'm gonna look at some other advanced filters. So in this case, I shot a lot of single images for this session, right? I was using high-powered off-camera flash to combat the sun. So essentially the flash didn't fire on a lot of photos and there's going to be a lot of images that don't have duplicates that I actually want. On a wedding day, there's a rare instance where I take a single photo of a, of a great moment. I'm always taking two or three photos in case there's a blink, etc. So this is really more applicable for that type of session for my personal shooting style, but I'm gonna show you here because it actually will work here as well. So I'm gonna filter by images without duplicates. And yet again, I'm gonna go ahead and select all of these photos and I'm gonna reject them. These are all of my single images, my test shots. Um, you know, there's a lot of motion in these photos. And so now I've whittled that selection all the way down from 20. Remember, we were at 150 photos. I'm down to 20 photos that Aftershoot has left. Now what I'm gonna do is actually go through with my spray can. I'm gonna set my left click to actually reject these photos. So now I'm gonna go through and just click on the stuff I don't want that still remains selected by Aftershoot. Um, there's a couple of you know similar looking images. I may wanna see if there's alternate versions here. Uh, I still don't want that one. Um, we'll go ahead and click on that to reject it because I do like this one a little bit better. So again, just going through and making some revisions to this set of 20 photos that are left. Uh, I know I took some cool ones that have baseballs in them. Uh, I like I did more off camera flash with that stuff. And then this one, obviously I test shot for me. Um, so just a couple tweaks and adjustments. So now I've gotten these images all the way down to 10. And you're saying, hmm, 10, that's not nearly what you're, what you're gonna do, right? Correct. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is exit my spray can mode. And now what I'm gonna do is click on the show photos with no color. So you remember I rejected all of those photos before, uh, you know, basically 150 photos. What I'm gonna do now is set my spray can to select these images. And now I can do this by setting them to selects or I can do them with the My Selections tab. So I'm actually gonna use My Selections for this. And what I'm gonna do is actually scroll through and again, just click on some of my favorite moments that I'd like to edit. Um, so again, this is simply just scrolling through. I like that angle. Um, we saw some of these before, I'm not in love with them. And I'm simply just adding some of my favorite photos. There's lots of action, lots of errors and mistakes and different pieces that just didn't quite pan out. 
Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and again just pull some, ooh I like that one. I know we selected one already, or Aftershoot selected one before already, but I do want some variety here. And we're gonna have this session culled in a matter of no time. Uh, now we're looking for a good moment where the ball is closest to the bat, or if I wanna just, oh, I like that moment, uh, if I wanna just pick one that maybe I'm gonna Photoshop later, um, so that's kind of a good pose. I do want one with the ball, oh, there you go. So we're gonna undo this here, we don't want that. I like this one, that's the moment right there. Uh, playing around a little bit. We have the slide photo. Uh, this was all posed, so we're gonna just, I did want this, because I want the Photoshop pieces from that. Uh, and I want the best looking slide. I think that's most realistic to me. I really wanted to give you an idea of what it looks like to cull this whole session pretty quickly um, using these tips and tricks. I, I do like that pose here. Um, so I think I'm gonna take that. I threw some grass to kind of make some action and I'm gonna look for one where the ball is in a good place. So this is actually great. I should be able to Photoshop those together. So I've now selected 19 photos. I'll save those changes. I've gone through and called that whole session using those quick tips and tricks. Now, of course, I can click on my selections and see what else I have. Um, in this case, I have selected quite a few. I like those. I'm gonna exit spray can mode. I'm gonna turn that filter off. So I don't want, I wanna clear all my filters here. And so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on my selections. I'm gonna find these 19 photos and I am actually gonna select all and I'm gonna five star these, right? So they're automatically gonna convert into the 29 selected photos. So now I actually have everything available to me here. You can see my whole cold session from 285 photos all the way down to here, and I'll just go ahead and drag and drop these right into Lightroom, run the editing, and then I'll take them into Photoshop to do all that hard work that I probably would have never done if Aftershoot didn't exist. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to check out some of our other videos for more tips and tricks on how to use Aftershoot.